and there is a Hades pursuing us and what you can do is you can use your ulti to back out if you really need to and I just want to I do get assist there and we see an Ubis all the way up against their tower and we're gonna get the kill on him can we get this kill I don't know yes we do get the kill on Nubis but at what cost and, and let us use our creeping curse and we are maybe gonna get the kill on this guy so close but so far and yes we do get the kill on him really really unfortunate for us and what we can do is we can just hit this Hades free kill and let us see what we can do this Ares and oh you can see I do so much damage to him right in his face Hey guys, how you doing? It's Peepa Nutter Ninja, and guys, we are playing with Loki in the new arena game mode. I am so excited to showcase him, as I've had some chances to play with Loki, and guys, I think he is very, very strong. What I like to start off with is Creeping Curse and the boots in this mode, and I like maybe to get some heal pots. I get one and one just for good measure. And so when I build Loki, I build him first with the boots, second I build him with the ink of the golem for that lifesteal, that extra attack damage, three I build him with either void blade or the fatalis for the extra cooldown, and four we will see what happens, we will counter what the enemy builds, and let us see, we do have an Ares, and guys check this out, decoy, so strong, and oh we do have Anubis casting his, his damage on me, it's gonna hurt a lot. And he's going to try to do a lot of damage on me, but I'm fine. And it looks like Tomek is tanking like a boss. Um, there is still quite a few ooh, lag monsters out. And what I can do is I can damage a lot of these minions here. And kind of push these lanes. As these minions do a lot of damage when you are only level 1. I do like to level up my Vanish first. That is, it is my chase tool. And let us see what we can do. Um... Anubis is by himself. I just want to be very careful. And oh, it looks like Hades is going to go down. Arachne on the side. I do have my ulti now. So I'm going to use this to my advantage as watch this, guys. Um, I do see Arachne. Hey, Arachne, what's going on? I do. Oh, she does jump on my face. But it's not going to be enough as I'm going to get the slow and the DPS. Oh, but I'm not going to get away as Anubis gets his ulti there as well. But I will be able to purchase these boots. No problem. So dying, not so bad. 0-1-4. That is not a great score. But guys, Loki is really strong in the end game, as I will show you, hopefully. And wow, this is a really long respawn time. I don't even know why. Um, we are getting pushed back to our tower, but that is no problem. What we can do is we can kill a lot of these guys. That Hades doing a lot of damage to our minions. And that is no problem. And ooh, these guys need to be blocked as we don't want them entering our base and eating up our score. We love score. It is very tasty. We do have Anubis there. I really want to gank him, but I don't think that is going to happen anytime soon. Um, and let us see what we can do. And these guys distracted a little bit. Arachne throwing down all the webs. And I might be able to go for a gank, to be honest. And let us just hold off on that, as I'm still not very strong. Those minions are still very, very strong on us. And Monkey running in there. And guys, that is our chance to kill that Arachne. And let us see what we can do on this noob. We do get the slow on him. He's... Oh, I'm going to get kill steal by Agni. And we do see this Ares here. He might have his ulti. And if that's the case, I'm going to be in a world of trouble. And oh, Agni getting another kill there. And I can't really engage with my ulti there, and that is no good. Um, and we're going to have to clear out some of these minions. I am actually very, very dangerously low on health. So I'm actually going to have to back here as I don't have my decoy up. And there's my decoy. I'm going to use my F1 to get to base a little bit quicker. And again, the second item that I do build is Anka Golem. So I can have a little bit of sustain starting out. It's going to be very, very minimal at first, but at the end, it's going to be quite substantial. And there is a Hades pursuing us. And what you can do is you can use your ulti to back out if you really need to. It was kind of a waste there, to be honest. Um, but let us see if we can get this monkey in. Maybe I get the curse, but I get Happy New Year. And I'm going to get killed by Anubis. And guys, we are not off to a great start. A 0 2 6, but guys, we will slowly pick up our skills. And since we are going to build Fatalis third, it's going to be 
pretty tough to do damage for now. But it looks like we aren't losing too badly. And what we can do, we can just lay down a lot of damage on these minions. And it does look like the enemy's playing a very good team game right now. And so, Hades doing his little dance that he does to do a lot of damage. And look at that decoy. He is taunting them like a pro. And what I can do is push on somebody. Um, I kind of want to push on the Hades. So, let's see if we can actually. And I think we can. And we do get the kill on Hades there. But I am slowed pretty hard. And there is an enemy Arachne on the way, but I do get the kill on her. No, I get the assist on her, rather. And that is no problem for me. I am happy with assist. This guy is not going to be able to do much damage. And what we can do is we can throw down a decoy right here and do a little bit of damage to these guys. It's not too big, but it is going to be just enough. And oh, Arachne is getting killed. We need to back out here. And you can see exactly how fast-paced arena action is. I am enjoying it thoroughly. Look at Hades. He's looking to ulti the Artemis there. And I just want to... Ooh, I do get assist there. I'm so close to getting deaths. I mean, not deaths, but kills. But not quite yet. I'm going to build that last level of the ink as it is going to give me a lot of power. And we see Anubis all the way up against their tower and we're gonna get the kill on him and it looks like Ares is gonna get the pull but oh and Arachne is gonna get the jump but oh she does get a very laggy jump there that is props to her for using the system and let us get level 2 fatalis and again I get this for the cooldown and the move speed as that is really important for me to catch the enemies I should probably invest in an Aegis amulet you can see I'm evening up the score 3-3 so far and guys, you will see me take off in the end game as I finish Chin's Blade and I finish, uh, um, not a Heart Seeker, but a Doombringer, rather. You can see Agni laying down the hurt on these guys, and that is no problem. I miss all my backstabs there. That is no problem as well. And we are just playing a little bit passive as the Ares has a pull, and I don't have an Aegis Amulet yet. And I accidentally hit number one there. I did not mean to use it already. And I'm maybe going to get killed right here. And yes, I am because I accidentally used my number one two instead of number two. And that's what happens when you have an 18 second cooldown on your escape. And ooh, a double kill. And there is a spider here. And what we can do is we can maybe get a slow on her. And, oh, Artemis does get the kill instead. And oh, this is going to be close. That monkey is in a lot of trouble. And what I can do is I don't have anything to engage with. Yes, I do. I have my ulti. Let us see if he is doing any damage at all. And what I can do is I can stun him. And I do get another assist. Artemis getting all my kills. I am getting a little bit of a lag monster. And that is no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down. Oh, I'm not going to survive that encounter, I think, and I'm so close to dead, but I might be able to get away, and I do with just 30 health, guys, that is ridiculous, and guys, my fatalis is complete, so now that means I can start building DPS, I am an end game Loki, I am not a beginning game Loki, and guys, that's what we want to build for, and hopefully this lag monster doesn't come and kill us, as that'll be really, really bad for us. Look at that Sun Wukong just destroying these guys. There's a lot of jungle going down in the right lane. And I'm going to get pulled here. And no. Oh, I get pulled by the Rackney. And she's maybe going to jump on my face. No, she's trying to solo me every single time. Let us see what she's building. She does have that Void Blade. So I will counter her Void Blade with my Void Blade in the end. So let us just wait for now. Because we don't really have anything to engage. And, oh no, that Anubis is going to get away. We just need to be extra, extra careful for now. We are losing this battle, but um, we can actually make a good, quite a good comeback if we are just very careful about how we go about this. And let us see. Oh, and there are three on one. They are hitting me hard. And I have to use my ulti to escape. No, they do grab me with those stuns. Um, I need to get an Aegis Amulet or a Puri Beast, but what I can do first is buy level 1 Void Blade. And so let us see my score. 3-6, not the best score in the world, but guys, we are going to make a comeback, and that is going to be fine and fantastic. Let us see what the enemy is building. Ares is the tank, 
And is Hades tanky at all? Harry, Hades is actually not that tanky to be honest. That is no problem, but I do not want to gauge. I am not an initiator. I am just a uh, damager. So if I get pulled in, I'm very, very, very squishy. So that is no good. They are all hiding behind me, which is not ideal for what I want. But we will still be able to do a lot of damage. Hades may be trying to do the pull there. And what we can do is... And we do have an Ares chain pull. So what we can do is we can do a lot of damage to this Anubis. And, and can we get this kill? I don't know. Yes, we do get the kill on Anubis, but at what cost? And I am very close to death by this by the spiders but I'm gonna manage to get away there and guys this is incredibly laggy this is really crazy so let us see who's doing the best on their team it looks like Ares is doing the best and I'm gonna have to wait until I can get a chin blade to be able to destroy him and let us see who else is dying it looks like oh, there's a lot of damage and we're gonna do a lot of damage on this monkey and we're actually gonna get a player kill on this monkey and what we can do is we can do a lot of damage on this Hades as well and oh it looks like that Anubis is gonna do a lot of damage as well I am slow beyond all crap and it does look like Anubis does have a jumbo isolation I'm gonna finish this void blade for some extra damage it looks like we are cleaning up and oh no minions but that is no problem I'm gonna save them with my decoy good decoy there as minions are so stupid they can't tell what is going on that's fine if Ares wants to set me on fire. And I am completely okay with that, actually. And it looks like Hades is very squishy there. And he is going to go down, and I do get the assist for that. And I am chained. I'm going to back out for now. Um, I can recall. Recall, I think, does take four seconds, but we will see. I cannot actually buy a Chin's Blade for now. And we'll just get heals. We are, it's a very close game. 180 to 205. Oh no, my team is pushing out very, very hard. I don't think that is going to be able to get away. Let us see if we can get this monkey though. And we do get the kill on that monkey. And yes, he's not going to get away. And what we can do is we can actually kill this Ares, I do believe. And it's going to be close though. It's going to be very close. And bye-bye Ares. And that Anubis is looking to bandage me. And not today, I say. Not today. And that... Oh, he does do his ulti there. And let us see exactly what we can do. And we can slow Anubis and do a lot of damage. Kali sealing the kill. And we can just kill Hades here with those backstabs. You can exactly see how much damage that was doing. We can start building our chin blades. Guys, this is so fast. I'm talking so fast out of my mouth. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. It is crazy, crazy, crazy. And this, this is high adrenaline fun. And it looks like there's Arachne here who wants to engage in a fight. And I'm going to have to back out here. And oh no, and she's going to get the kill on me. Let us see what she is building. She does have the execution and she does have that chin blade. What I want to build. So, so far, 6-7 Loki, he is doing okay, but not the best right now. And I do want to kill all these minions. They don't really have any good minion killers except Anubis. And I just have to be very, very careful about that. And they are actually playing very passive in this, in this match, which I find very surprising. And Anubis looking to bandage me up as I am way outside. And oh, he does get it. And I'm going to have to use my ulti to escape there. And let us use our creeping curse and we are maybe gonna get the kill on this guy so close but so far and yes we do get the kill on him just barely out of our reach and can I buy these chin blades finally no I still cannot and the game is coming to a very rapid close so I'm gonna need to get some gold or get some minions to finish this chin blade and I think that is exactly what I'm gonna do look I can kill these minions so fast now and that is gonna be to my advantage. I do hear some arachne spiders, but that is quite okay. And I could use a decoy right now, but I'm just gonna save my mana for that gank. And let us see, I do have only armor and by Hades and Ares look, looking to engage in here, but he's not gonna be able to do enough damage. And Arachne jumping on Wukong's face again. 
and I'm gonna have to back out here. And oh, my team is picking up the lead though with this Chins Blade. And if I am able to secure Doombringer, it is gonna be GG for the enemy team. And let's see what we can do. I do kill that Arachne, and oh, I am I am getting hit a lot by everybody here. And what I can do is maybe kill this Wukong. I do kill the Wukong, and this Hades looking to do a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to life leech my way to victory, and I'm not able to do that. But guys, I can get this Deathbringer, and now it's near the end game. And unfortunately, 10-8, not the best game that I've played with Loki so far, but it is a pretty good game. We are positive, we are doing a lot of damage, we're getting a lot of kills. And what we can do is we can slow this Arachne and do a lot of damage to her face. She's not going to get away after she jumps off. And look at that, she does use her Aegis, but she is going down. Goodbye, Agni. I hope you're doing oh well. And I do get Chain Pulled, and that is no good as I get ulti by three people all at once. And I still haven't bought those beads yet, or that Aegis Amulet. Guys, this is going to come down to the very, very end. 11 Lion Loki, look at them. 7 12, 11 7 Wukong. That Wukong is really carrying their team for now. I do have my ulti, so I can use it on somebody if I so choose. And let us take out some of these, these ads as it'll really help our team. And yes, 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 I love killing ads. And let us see if we can kill this Anubis. And yes, we will be able to do a lot of damage to Anubis and, and get away. And yes, I will use my ulti to get away. And that is... Are these chasing me? They are chasing me, but I am so far away. They're not going to be able to catch that. And it looks like we are going to be able to secure this win here. I need some help to engage again. Please don't get a triple day aside or a triple kill. Because that would be really, really unfortunate for us. And what we can do is we can just hit this Hades. Free kill. And let us see what we can do to this Ares. And oh, you can see I do so much damage to him right in his face. And guys, this is game right here if we destroy these minions. And yes, GG. So 3924 Loki. That is pretty good considering we didn't even have a tank. <laughs> usually if I have a tank, then that usually means I have a lot more kills but so far that was very exciting very fun i'll post a few more of these just so you guys can see exactly how strong loki can be and again like i said that was actually one of my worst matches to be honest and uh you guys will see exactly how strong loki can be it was a little bit chaotic let me know if you don't like the style of this chaos because i will definitely play more conquest which is the normal mode so stay tuned for that but guys i am loving love in Loki as he is just so utilitarian and he does so much damage and he plays like an attack damage just like what I like Arachne and Bastet two of my favorite players and so he is just right on my alley guys and thank you so much for watching as always and again peace love and ninja people know the ninja sending up bye bye guys